Hi guys, this is Fire Emerald. World. Did 5:30 in the morning. Ha ha ha! I'm recording this. That's why I look so bad. Um, just with a, just apologizing for how inactive my channel's been lately. I've been really busy with college and stuff. Um, this this video might go on for a little bit because I have a lot to say. First of all, schedule. No more schedule. It, it's it didn't seem to work. It didn't work out. It was just. I had some things with friends that just wouldn't work out. I had to keep changing it because it turns out certain games just were being so slow. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to get a job soon so I can start saving up for a better computer. Because this computer, it's got a, it's got a, a, an Intel Pentium 2.16 quad, um, gigahertz quad core, which is... I don't know how good that ranks up to a lot of other computers, but I know that... It's better than my friend Jessica's um, Alienware that, um, computer. So I know it's pretty decent. It usually does. It also usually doesn't run slow. But the graphics processor leaves a lot to be desired, and the fact that it it likes to overheat a lot. Like I have this fan that um, whenever I'm playing. Game, um, games that I use high graphics, I have to keep it pointing at the computer, else it'll start throttling, which basically means it gets too hot, so it starts shutting, um, slowing down the GPU and CPU to um, prevent it from overheating too bad and damaging the circuitry, so it will run really, really bad for like a minute or two, and then it, the temp and then the temperature decreases enough that I'll have like maybe five minutes or so of smooth performance, and then it happens again. So, it, um, if, in case you didn't know that's what throttling is, is, I just got vinegar all over me. If you're wondering why I have vinegar in a bottle, we have a bed bug problem here, which is why I'm still up at 5.30 in the morning. Uh, yeah, that's not your problem. We're, get, we're, we're getting it taken care of soon, hopefully. Because, man, bed bugs suck. If any of you have ever had bed bugs, you'll know what I mean when I say they suck. In the meantime, for what I, my plans for the channel, I'm only going to be recording a, a, a few different series now, like my Pokemon series, I'll continue, I'll try to continue some Lego builds, though I don't know how long I can keep that up, because it is really hard to do, because I have to build the set first, and then take it apart so that I know which pieces go to which part, and I do have a lot of sets where I don't have all the pieces, so I don't know how I'd make that work. Um... But yeah, I still have quite a few Lego sets though that I didn't really mix in too much with other stuff, so I still have all the pieces for, so I'll be able to do them for you guys. Um, I have a game, um, I, I make, record some flights from, um, done in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004. Yes, I know that was 11 years ago. It means it, ru it runs on this processor just fine. I actually ran it on maximum graphics and it wasn't terribly bad. I don't, I wouldn't say it was perfect or good enough for recording, but I'd say it was just fine to play when, to play. Um, on. So, yeah, we got that, um, and then look, uh, look out for a Let's Play of a game, a, a game that's from 2006 called Axis Adventures Truth Seeker. Now, I'll, I will warn you guys, any of you who are anti-Christians, you probably wouldn't want to watch it, it is a Christian game. There aren't, it, it does have a um, Christian themed background, but as said by the game developers themselves, it wasn't designed to be overly Christian to me like, yeah, you gotta be Christian, you gotta get saved and other stuff like that. It mostly mentions it, and it does have an overlaying theme of forgiveness by God. So if you're Christian, you'll probably like it. It's the them. Um, has three major parts in it. It's actually pretty easy at first, but. It's been forever since I've played it, and I seem to uh, I, I seem to be a whole lot better because there was a parkour challenge that I never ever completed before that I pretty much did my first try. So if that gives you any idea of what my skills were then and now, <laughs> it um yeah. And speaking of which, um I I will choose now to rant. A little bit of a something called Project Spark. It's an 
It's originally an Xbox One app, but it's also a um, Windows 8.1 app as well. And that's how I'm able to play it, because I don't even have an Xbox. Much less a 360 or an Xbox One. Haha. <laughs> By the way, if any of you would be willing to get me an Xbox One, that'd be great. LOL. <laughs> because I'd, I'd love to be able to create Kinect captures for, anima for custom animations on it. But, um... It's great and all, it's a free app, but I have one problem with it. Just because the app is free doesn't mean the content is free. There's a whole ton of stuff I need in order to even make it look good that I'd need to either work for months to get or get an insanely amount, an insane amount of downloads on a world and still do all a lot of work that I've been doing already. Or pay a crap ton of money, excuse my language, but... I, I really hate it. There's this pack called the expansion, like, the, the, make, the create pack, some big create pack or something like that. I need it so that I can do one part in the world where I need to change the sky. That costs 80,000 credits. I only have 40,000, and I even found an exploit that allowed me to run, to um, rank up three milestones all the way up to max to get stuff on. Um, I've worked hard over the past few days getting as many credits as I can. I'm only up to 42,000. So I'm just over halfway there. And that's with me playing it for like two or three, two weeks already. Maybe over two weeks. With all the, um, benefits that you get when you start out with extra coins and stuff. So, yeah. It'll take me a long time to get to that point. And, um, it's kind of discouraging, to tell you the truth. But if you want to know what I'm... I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I am trying to recreate Axis Adventures in that. Which, uh, minus some of the features I can't put in, but plus some new features and stuff, like multiplayer. Um, I, it, and I... One of the things I'm most proud of with that is I made a saving feature that uses number-based passwords. That, um, you don't really see saving features. I I haven't seen any. I don't know if there's any out there yet or not for it. But, it's... If there isn't, then that might... Then my game might just be revolutionary. That if you want to play it, just, um... Search Axis, A-X-Y-S, in the community games if... You don't know how to get to that when you click on community games instead of selecting a um, category to look at if you hit b you can immediately you can look through all of them and you can do a search through all of them also if you want to um, view a pay the page for it online and la try launching it from there i know it works on windows 8.1 inner explorer app not desktop but the actual app don't know if it works on the disc or not, but I will put a link to it in the description. That link could also serve as a way to get to the Project Spark website where you can learn more about it if you want to. Um, if you if you'll forgive my avatar I put on it, I know it looks nothing like me. I had to I only made it in like a minute or so when I logged into a friend's Xbox and I just need an avatar. I was just, just threw stuff together. Really didn't want to be bothered to make it. So as I can see, this video has been almost going on for 10 minutes. Wow. That's a long video. Not really. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, this, I'm just going to stop the video now and say, um, if any of you want to offer any sort of support to this channel, give me ideas, maybe, I don't know, if you'd be willing to pledge money, I'd gladly take money. Because I, I, even if I do get a job, I'm still going to need to put a lot of money towards college expenses still. Just because I've been in college for three weeks now. Online classes are the best. Not. <laughs> um, doesn't mean that I'll be able to get through all of college without a little extra money. So if, if you guys want to support the channel in that way, just tell me and I'll see if I can get something set up. Um... I'll take any support I can get, because right now the channel is not looking too good. It's 
it, it kind of hit its high with the sphere generators, but now it's like, what next? I, I, I don't have ideas, people. I need ideas. I need ideas. <laughs> Sorry. Just give me ideas. Give me ideas.